Come in. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm Jared Farquavius. I am Professor Doctor. Uh, come in. Thank you. Can I close the door? Please. So, what seems to be bothering you? Well, Professor Doctor, can I call you Doctor? Sure. Well, Doctor, um, so it started when I was young. Okay. Um, I was in a school play, and I had a pretty big role. When when I went up there, I I froze, and I forgot my next line, and then I peed my pants and threw up at the same time in front of the whole entire school. How'd that make you feel? Oh, it made me feel awful. I was I was totally embarrassed, and you know when you're younger, stuff like this happens. But then a similar incident happened. Oh, wow. tell me about that. It was during a baseball game, okay. and I was up to bat. And it just so happened I was facing one of the best pitchers in the league, and and I just saw the ball he, that he he threw it. It was it was so big. It was coming right at me, uh -huh. and then. I peed my pants again. Oh wow. Right in the batter's box, right in the middle of the field. Just dripped down your leg and everything? Yeah, it, it hit me in the head and when the ball was coming at me I just I started crying and peeing so much that I didn't know what to do and and I used to love baseball but but now anytime I I I just can't. I can't play anymore. I don't I don't wanna mess up. I don't want to mess up. I can't do. I can't do it again. So, based on uh, what you've told me, these stories in your childhood, um, how has that affected your life going forward? Well, well, um, I, I can't be normal around anybody anymore. Anytime. <laughs> I get with a big group of people, I start to feel really nervous and my hands get super sweaty okay. and and nothing's enjoyable for me anymore. I, I, yeah, yeah. Um, um, so, let me see here. Okay. So how, how do you feel at school and uh, different other social events like um, does it make you feel nervous? Does it? Do you, are you scared? Uh, just tell me. Tell me what's going on in those situations. Well, at, at school, I'm I'm usually okay until I have to be one on one with somebody or in, or in big groups. It makes me really nervous, and I, I usually can't do it. Whenever I am forced to have a presentation in class or or do any big group activities. Uh, I try and avoid it as much as possible, but if I'm forced into the situation, I, I usually do a horrible job. Jerry, Jerry, present! Present, Jerry! Present Jerry! Jerry! Jerry. doesn't help at all because it just makes me nervous about about rehashing what happened back when I was younger and, and and I get nervous about about messing up about throwing up in front of the class or or something like that all right all right so has this has this issue that you've been dealing with has it has it gotten worse or better as you as you gone on with your life well, anytime I try and do something new or or try try sports or, or anything social mm -hmm. I, my fear just seems to grow worse because I've never really succeeded at much so I have no reason to think that the same thing won't happen again uh -huh. okay okay um, and what's been going on? Um, how has it how has it affected your uh, your life at home? At home, I'm usually normal because I'm pretty comfortable with my mom, okay. my dad, and my four sisters. Okay. Jared. Farquavius. Yes. Um. So I'm looking here. Looking here at my notes. And uh. 
just thinking about kind of what what you've been telling me, yeah. and uh, some of the past experiences you've had, and how it's affected your uh, kind of your social life. Um, let me see here. It, it seems like you've been dealing with maybe a little bit of social anxiety. <gasps> and um, now, don't get too worried. It's okay. Many, many people struggle with this. Um, and it's often caused or made bigger from a, a situation in their past. You know, th there might not be a specific thing we can do to cure this on the spot. Uh, there may be some some relaxing pills we can give you, you know, take that, pop a couple pills a day. But if any, at any point you find yourself um, feeling anxious in a social event, um, I'm gonna prescribe to you uh, Woody from Toy Story, and um, he will be there to like help you, um, help you cope with your situation. Um, he can just be there kind of as a helping hand. So he'll just be there to kind of help you cope with this social anxiety. Um, so you can just have him. So he'll just be there to help you relax through any of these situations. P Professor Doctor. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So with this social anxiety, um, where where do you want to be? What's your goal in defeating this disorder? Well, I, I guess right now I I just wanted to to stop being so scared about. Uh, performing in, uh, in, in front of people and I want to be able to pl play baseball again and I, I, I want to stop it. I have to get better. Okay, this is good. Um, so I'm going to write down what your goals are here and then whenever we uh, grow after a year of meeting, um, we'll, we'll look at your progress and see how much you made. Alright, sir. Um, Thank you, and we'll be uh, we'll be meeting every every two weeks, and uh, so see you back in two weeks. Thank you. Thank you.